Well, Jim, it is about to get wintry, we'll call it. Yeah, it was just a little bit of some snow, and then all of a sudden, it's snowing out there Jeez. right now. It's going to be in and out as we go through the night and into the day tomorrow, too. So, yeah, watch out, because we're going to 26 overnight and only back up to 32. <laughs> Sunday looks okay, 32 degrees, stays around that for Monday and Tuesday. After that, the bottom rounds out on those temperatures, 20s, mid-20s at best for the rest of the week next week. All right, thanks, Jim. Well, as many of you know, this is my last 5 o'clock newscast here. I took this show over when Jane Aldridge left six years ago now, and I have just loved every day a moment since. David Young and I joke that this is our show. We spent so many commercial breaks making each other laugh and talking about life and everything else that's happening in the world. And honestly, doesn't feel right to end this without him here, but thankfully Jim Geyer, who I've also worked with for these last 20 years, is right here by my side. I want you to know that I believe the job of a journalist is to ask questions of everything. Even when we think we totally agree or there aren't any questions to be asked, trust me, there are. And those questions are so important for all of us, especially you, the viewers, because we're your voice and we are your source of knowledge. We're here to help you make your own informed decisions, not to tell you what to think or who to believe. And I can truly say I've done my best every single day here to do just that for you. If there's one thing I know, there are two sides to every story, many times even more than that. And I have taken this duty and responsibility as someone you trust seriously, and I can't thank you enough for putting that trust into me. I also can't thank you enough for the hundreds and hundreds of comments on Facebook and Instagram expressing your love and support for me. Your words have truly meant more to me than you will ever know. It has truly been an honor to be here for you, and I thank you. Yeah, and, and, you know, that was very well done, and we are all going to miss here at 6 News. And as you finish up your 5 o'clock, we've got a few people who want to oh, wish you well. Check it out. Lauren, first let me say congratulations on an incredible career. I guess 17, 18 years, you've done a great job for not only the TV station, but for the community. But second of all, what in the heck are you doing? You're too young to retire. I hope whatever the future brings, it's great. Thanks for the help with the race and all the things you did for us. God bless. Lauren, it's Bishop Earl Boyer here with a brief but heartfelt vote of thanks for your 19 years of service to the local community in the Lansing area. Thank you, and God bless you. As for what comes next, I hope that you can prayerfully discern where the good Lord wishes to lead you, knowing that His path is the authentic path, the royal road to meaning, happiness, and peace in this life and in the next. As you undertake that discernment, please be assured of my prayers for you and your family. And may God bless you, Lauren, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, Lauren, you are going to be missed so much. I am so grateful for all the things that you have done for the House of Promise. You've been a part of our organization for so long. I'm grateful you still sit on our board, so I still get to see you. You've got great things ahead of you. You are just such an amazing woman. You will, you will be missed. Hi, Lauren. Congratulations on 19 years at 6 News. You've had such an incredible career here, anchoring in the mornings, at noon, in the evenings, and on the weekends. You've helped viewers save money through your Steals and Deals franchise and have been a part of many teams and shows that won prestigious awards. You will be missed by your coworkers, by your colleagues, and of course by your viewers, including me. You are here for us and I wish you the best of luck in your next chapter. To Lauren, first and foremost, congratulations on a fantastic run at Channel 6. The viewers are so lucky to have had you on the desk and in the field and just doing all the all the incredible work that you've done over these past couple of decades, believe it or not. Wish you nothing but the best. God bless you, Lauren. Hi, I'm former Vice President Mike Pence, and I couldn't be here in mid-Michigan without wishing Lauren Thompson congratulations on nearly two decades of service at WLNS Channel 6. During my years as Vice President, Lauren interviewed me several times, including one time on our Michigan bus tour. She was tough, but always fair. And I wish Lauren the best, whatever comes next, for her and her family. God bless. I said I wasn't going to cry. Wow. 
Yeah, it's a very nice people there. How about that? That was unreal. Yeah. That was unreal. Thank you, everybody. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to say.